Let's have our cake and eat it too, shall we? This is the Yorkville PSA 1S here on Max SPL Videos. What do I mean by have our cake and eat it too? Well, in my experience, if you are spending under $3,000 on a subwoofer, sacrifices are gonna have to be made. If you're looking for like a really punchy, really tight bass sound, you're probably gonna to gravitate towards a 12 inch subwoofer. If you're looking for a lot of low end frequency information and a lot of volume, you're generally gonna be looking into a 18 inch subwoofer. But the 18 inch is gonna to have to sacrifice a bit in the punch area. And that 12 inch is gonna be a bit quieter and is gonna to have to sacrifice a little bit in the extra low frequencies. 15, they're sort of the bastard child of both. Uh, I generally don't recommend 15s and most sound techs tend not to gravitate towards them either. They tend to be not as punchy as a 12, but they can't reach as low as an 18 and they're not quite as loud and it's just, they can never really be justified to go to a 15 when a 12 would do a better job for X and a 18 would do a better job for Y. So generally speaking, I avoid 15s. Your mileage may vary. I'm sure there's some out there that are great. I just haven't heard them. <laughs> Enter the 212, which is an unfortunately rare subwoofer configuration. We have a bit of a Goldilocks situation when we move into these though, because we get the punch and the clarity from having the 12 inch woofers. But by having two of them, if you add the surface area together on the two 12 inch subs, we're sitting just a little bit in between the 15 and the 18. We're getting a lot of that low frequency information without the expense of the clarity that we get from the 12 inch woofers. It's great. And I think more companies need to do this. I've only managed to find two other active 12 inch subs in North America. I checked three websites, two of the biggest ones in Canada and one of the biggest ones in the US. There's three, including this one for active 212 subwoofers on the market that I could find. And it's really too bad. So let's talk about this particular one. This is the Yorkville PSA 1S. It is a 212 inch sub, as we've been discussing. It is active. It has a 1400 watt continuous 2800 watt amplifier on the back and has a output of 129 dB continuous 135 peak. In terms of frequency response, like I was saying, this thing reaches super low. This goes all the way down to 37 Hertz. No small feat for the 12 inch speakers in there. What else do we have going here? These are uh, part of the Paraline speakers from Yorkville Sound. They do work with other speakers outside of that line. As they say on their website, easily integrates into any system. And that is almost true. The back panel leaves a bit to be desired for some. For me, it's perfect, but your mileage may vary. So let's have a peek. Scratch my floor up, it'll be fine. So looking back here, we have down here uh, a regular AC in and out. It uses sort of the computer cord style. It's called an IEC. It, it doesn't have the more modern power con that a lot of speakers are using, but this will get you by. And uh, honestly, I prefer it because none of my stuff uses power con at the moment. It does have the out for the daisy chaining thing. Make sure your circuit can handle it. Cause again, this is a 1400 watt continuous 2800 watt peak amp. Like this thing pulls some power out of the wall. Uh, power switch, internal circuit breaker, all nice and handy. Up top here, we have our input, level, and link out. You do not have to cross over your signal before you send it into here. This has a built-in 100 hertz low pass filter, so it will play everything 100 hertz and below. And the link out is an unbastardized signal. It doesn't do anything to it. So you can run it to a top speaker or you can run it to a sub. I am a bit disappointed that there isn't a high pass filtered output. So, you know, takes the 100 hertz and below signal here and sends the 100 hertz and up 
to the tops. Doesn't affect me because my top speakers have a 100 hertz crossover built in. So I can just flip that switch and it's like, oh, you got a sub underneath, cool. And then they only play that part of the signal. So for me, it's perfectly fine. But for you, your mileage may vary. The other thing that I don't like here is it is a mono in and out. I wish they would have done stereo in. So you could have one of these in the center and then run out to your tops. But it, it it's perfectly passable. Uh, and again, in my configuration, this works perfect, but double check that your speakers for your tops can be adjusted or this might not work the best for you. That's kind of it. Like I said, I wish more companies would build 212 subs. I think Yorkville knocked it out of the park with this. It's loud, it's low, it's heavy as hell, <laughs> and it will last me ages and it will work really well for you. Now don't, you don't have to take my word for it because Yorkville is readily available across North America. Uh, a lot of rental places carry them because they're built like tanks. So you should be able to get your hands on one of these and try it with your system before you buy it. And I would recommend that because these are not cheap. I think they are worth the price, but you want to know that this is the sound you're after. Because again, they are a rarity. There's a good chance you haven't heard a 212 sub, let alone this particular 212 sub. So make a point of trying it first, listening to it first at the very least. I would not recommend just ordering one of these online. Plus they weigh 120 pounds and that shipping is gonna kill you. So go to your local store, try one out, take a listen to it, rent it if you can. But yeah, Yorkville PSA 1S. I think they knocked it out of the park and I will recommend these to just about everybody across all genres. Because like I said, whether you're DJing or doing live sound for country and rock bands, or if you're spinning some hip hop, this thing, it, it, it just covers every bass that I could possibly think of. But yeah, your mileage may vary. Let me know if you tried this thing. Have you tried a 212 sub? Have you tried a 12 inch sub and, or an 18? And you're like, well, maybe it's for me. Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will see you in the next video.